Hi guys, welcome to the channel. Today we're going to be talking about the new Space Pi Pro um, filament dryer. It is a dual filament dryer that Creality's released. It released a, a month or so ago. Um, but I've just been given this one to have a look at. So we'll go and have a look at it. Now if you haven't um, subscribed, it'd be much appreciated if you um, subscribe. It helps the channel out a lot. And if you, at the end of it, you like it, just give us a thumbs up and say you liked it. Um, if you want to buy anything from Creality or Sunloo, there are affiliate links in the description down below. And if you did like it and want to buy me a coffee, there's also a link below to buy me a coffee. That would be appreciated as well. Okay, let's get into it. Okay, so in the box, you've got the dryer. You've got some filament, oh, not some filament, some Bowden tube, sorry. Packing cardboard, packing cardboard, power cord, that's it. Okay, so. <clears throat> now it's meant to take two rolls of one kilo filament and dry them. Uh, it can go from temperatures to 40, from 45 to 70 degrees Celsius. Um, it's power rated to 145 watts. Um, let's have a look what else we got on here. So it's auto sensing with the voltage, so you don't have a voltage switch you need to change. Now the reason they're giving you some Bowden tube is because you can fit it in the little holes up the top here. If you have a look, we've got two holes up the top here. And if you're not using one, you've got little plugs to plug them up. If you're not using one to stop the air escaping out. Okay, they set fairly simplistic inside, as you can see. Now, these are fans, so it circulates the heat 360 degrees around the box. Okay, if you have a look down the bottom here, you see they've got these little hold. Um, so if you just flick it out, you see it's got some desiccant packs in it. That's to pull any moisture around out of it as well. So that's just one of those little. You put one end in and the other end clips in place. So there's one on each side. So as you can see, if you open it up, the filaments just fit in here, like set it that way. And a little bit that way. You can see this, they fit in quite easily. And when they slot in, they just roll quite easily on either side. And when you're threading it through, you just get one end of it and you'd poke it through this hole here. You don't have to have the Bowden tubes in there if you don't want, but they do help if you're feeding it through to another printer or something. So the Bowden tubes will just fit in. And they can just pop in like this. Now I will tell you that um, with the single ones, you need to put a bit of tape or a, a um, zip tie around the top here to stop it pushing, getting pulled in and getting caught up with your reel. So that's one thing I will say. Some people have put actual um, Bowden tube clips on the top here. I just think you just need a bit of tape around it to do fine. Just something to stop it going in any further. And if you want it to stop coming out, you put one on the inside as well. But um, just a zip tie around the top will do. It just gives it something to stop it getting pulled further into the, into the chamber here. Um, what I do is I set it up and I run the Bowden tube directly into my printer. So this becomes my spool holder. And it works really well, yeah. So um, let's um, plug it in. The main ones being, uh, they've got presets for PLA, ABS, PETG, and TPU. But it does take um, PP, ASA, PC, PA, uh, PET, and then you've got your PA carbon fiber, your PLA carbon fiber, and your PETG carbon fiber. So when you're putting it in, there's just the power plug at the back, and the plug just fits in like normal. So if you turn it on in the back, you will see this little, get you in a bit closer. Now if you turn on the bat, you will see this little bit down the bottom here come on. And if you push and hold that, it will activate everything, yeah? So as you can see, the little uh, cog switch here, and then you've got up and down and a power switch. That's pretty much all there is. So a little cog will move it. You can see the little arrow there. It will move the arrow to where you want it, and then you change from there. So if we go to material, you can see there's ABS there, there's PP, TPU, PLA, 
PACF, oh, it has got all these loaded. Pet GCF, Pet uh, PLACF, Pet PA, all the ones I just mentioned. Um, so they're all pre-programmed and you can see that the temperature changes as it goes. So once you get what you want to heat uh, and then you just put in the time. So I just, um, it can be anywhere up to 48 hours. Oops, let's get on the right one. So make sure it's on time. Then you can um, lock it in. Now I can just hear that you can hear the fans running and that's just, that's not very loud. So the fans will run and that will make a 360 degree um, circulation of the heat inside. So the top line on here is the PV is the real time temperature and humidity. Then you've got the um, drying temperature you want it to set at. Um, the material you're using and how long you want to use it for. So all you do is press and hold this cog button until you see the triangle appear there. And once the triangle's appeared there, you can use the up and down to um, change the, what you're drying, okay? If I go down to time, I can then change the time. If I come up to here, you can't do anything except change it from Celsius to Fahrenheit if that's what you want to do. Okay, and then when you get to SV, you actually change in the temperature if you want to change your own temperature. And that's pretty much it. And then it's all automated and it will do everything for you. Tell you, it has a 110 watt uh, PTC heater in it. The screen here is a 3.7 inch screen. Um, if you have a power out as well, if you have a power out, and the power comes back on it will keep the settings in here so you don't have to reset everything you just got to restart it um, the volume of it is 343 mil by 226 by 300 mil and it's about 1.9 kilos it's auto switching like i said between 110 and 220. all in all it's a pretty good dry i've been using the single one for quite some time um, and i love it i just run them straight into my printer like i said with this one you can put a printer either side of it and run two into the printer. The only thing I would say I would like to have Corella did to have done is to put two little holes at the back here so you can run the filament out the back if you don't want to run them out the top. I guess you could drill them in and, and put Bowden tubes in if you wanted to, but um, that's about the only thing I'd say that I would improve on it. Um, it's probably the best filament dryer I've had in the seven years I've been printing. So, highly recommended I think it's a really good one oh, it's meant to take a two kilo reel but I don't have a two kilo reel to try um, so I can't tell you if that's correct or not but the two singles work in really well and the fact that they have the ball bearings in there oh it's got some nice heat coming out I can feel the I can feel the heat coming out of the fans as it is but these nice ball bearings make sure that this these bars spin really nicely and when I'm putting my filament in to make it easier to thread and everything I actually sit, sit them here, thread it all up, and then just roll it into where it's meant to be. And it will sit there and just make sure it spins okay when it's in there and you're right to go. Okay, so it's good that you can, it actually fits there and you can put everything, you've got some hand space there and just roll it in. Okay, that's pretty much all there is to that. Um, if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. And if you did like this, give us a thumbs up and I'll see you in the next video. Thanks guys, see you later, bye. Okay guys, thanks for watching. I really do appreciate the support. You might like one of these, or one of these videos um, that I've made in the past, so feel free. Okay, thanks guys, bye.